Hello guys, welcome once again and in today's video we are going to learn something about file handling and in this video I am going to show you a very simple trick uh, using which you can write a file into a file and you can also uh, will uh, be able to create a file alright so let's get started and uh, first of all we need to uh, create uh, to create a button like this for example let's uh, delete this and go to the toolbox and just go to this button and just drag it out here and then you need to rename it as create file all right because uh, using this button I want to create a file and simply when you will double click on the button it will create a button uh, sorry it will create the event of this button for you in your code all right so the event for this button has been created successfully right here so now I will just write a simple one line and my file will be created as well as the text will be written into that file all right so there is only one line that you need to write here but before that before writing any command related to file handling you just need to go up here on the top and you need to add something and that is using system.io because file handling is related to IO basically if you are familiar if you have worked with file handling in other languages then you will be familiar with system.io so you have to add this line system.io all right and then you will come back to the event of that button and inside here you will write the code so that when you press this create file button the file should automatically created and uh, stored it should be stored into my system all right so i will write here file dot and you as you can see uh, when I have written system.io it has started to give me these kind of suggestions all suggestions so I will write here file dot write all text and one thing you need to remember that file dot write all text is going to uh, take two arguments separated with comma like this and these two arguments will contain the file path or file name and the content of the file the first columns they will contain the uh, name of the file or the path of the file where you want to create a file and the second one will contain the content that you want to write in that specific file all right so let me show you that let's say i want to create a file uh, as a name of code beginners dot text dot text is basically the extension so if i want to create that file in c directory then i will write c slash something downloads like i will give uh, some path here okay but uh, i don't want to do that i will just simply write code beginners dot text so it will create a file like this and it will store that text file in my project all right so we will get to that in a minute so now you just need to write here the content whatever you want to write inside the file but uh, right now i i am going to write nothing as i will write something but later first of all i am going to give you a little demo about this so let's say i show a message box dot show 
that file successfully created simple is that I'm just creating that for your understanding but there is no need right here uh, but you can create that if you need to I mean everybody has its own requirements so you have to follow them all right so I write here file created successfully all right so now uh, just run my program but before running my program I am going to take you to the folder where my file will be stored so right now you need to go to the solution files and you will just right click on the solution file and then you will go to the open folder in file explorer right here okay so this uh, option second, la second last option open folder in file explorer and just click it and you will get to that kind of thing the solution folder okay so now you need to click on the upper folder right here file c sharp program in my case so i will just double click on that and i will be uh, there and i will see something like this so in here i need to select this bin folder and after that I need to select that debug folder and I will double click and you can see there is no file with such name because I have not clicked that button yet with codebeginners.txt so you just need to focus here the file will be created here when I will press the create file button in my project okay so let's go ahead and run our program and when we run our program so I'll put my credentials in my app and login successful so there is a that button create file so when I will click on that it will tell me file created successfully okay so when I will go to the same debug folder now you can see that code beginners dot text is here but uh, I have set the content empty so it has nothing in it all right so now what i am going to do i am going to give it some content here like hello good beginners we are here to help you okay so now if I run my program what it will do the file has already been created and it is already present so what it will do it will overwrite my previous file okay so when I will run my program the file will remain the same but uh, as the name is same so it will overwrite the previous file and my previous file has got nothing so th that doesn't uh, make that will not going to make any kind of uh, difference all right so when I will press 1 2 3 ok so login successful and when I will press create file it will tell me file created successfully so I will said ok and I will close that and when I will go to the same debug folder the file has already been created but it has been overwritten now so when I will double click open this you will see hello code beginners we are here to help you out so i hope you have got the concept and you have enjoyed my video of today in the upcoming videos i'm going to uh, tell you about other things related to file handling so stay tuned i hope you have enjoyed the video and you have learned something new today thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe